Hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. 2016 in video gaming was a year full of surprises. And out of all the video games that came out in 2016, there are two games that surprised me with just how much I came to enjoy them and like them when I really wasn't paying too much attention to them and was not expecting what I got out of them, what they did for me as a gamer. And those two video games were Tom Clancy's The Division and Gears of War 4. Now, when it comes to The Division, like many a Ubisoft game, and I have said this time and time again in many videos where I talk about Ubisoft games, when it comes to Ubisoft, they usually make games when they're first revealed and all the trailers and promotional material is out. I usually don't care for the game at all. Very rarely does Ubisoft make a game that really grabs me via its marketing. That's changed recently with For Honor. God, For Honor looks awesome. But beforehand, Ubisoft games like Watch Dogs and Rainbow Six Siege. Until I started hearing more word of mouth about the games and seeing actual gameplay on the internet about these games, did they pique my interest? And once I finally played played these games, I ended up loving them. Similar story with Tom Clancy's The Division. When I played the beta for Tom Clancy's The Division, I was surprised, genuinely surprised at how much I immediately liked it. From its gorgeous visuals, its gameplay mechanics, its gameplay design, and its addicting loot system. After playing the beta for The Division, I knew I was gonna like the game. And when I got my hands on the full release, the full product, I was not disappointed. As a matter of fact, I was ecstatic. I never knew for the longest time that I needed, I wanted a game like The Division, a game I could come back to daily, weekly, replaying content all for the reward of new weapons and gear with different stats and perks, gathering more resources. Just the grind, the overall grind of playing The Division, playing it over and over again, constantly coming back to it for the sake of loot and the satisfying gunplay. It just clicked with me, and now, honestly, The Division has become one of my favorite games of all time. I freaking love the game, and the game's only gotten better with its many updates and additions. I, however, can't help but be curious that I was more excited and satisfied to play The Division after playing the beta, where many of us were disappointed that The Division didn't represent its original E3 trailers. Honestly, the E3 trailers didn't have me interested in The Division at all. It was only after playing the beta, the test demo, I guess you could kind of say, for the version that we actually got, is what got me excited to play the game. So yeah, The Division was one of my biggest surprises of 2016. Second biggest surprise, Gears of War 4. Now, I played the first Gears of War just this year. I finally got to play and experience Gears of War, the original, through the Ultimate Edition on PC. And to be honest, while I liked it, it didn't really blow me out of the water. I was actually kind of disappointed. I had heard nothing but good things about the original Gears of War, so I was excited to experience the original Gears of War, only to feel kind of let down by it, kind of let down by all the hype and excitement and buildup that I had had to play the original Gears of War after all the positive word of mouth. However, playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition did get me somewhat excited for Gears of War 4 because it's a sequel, I'm thinking they've improved the mechanics of the game, and other issues I had with Gears 1 because, hey, Gears 4 is a sequel. It's being developed by a new team, so surely they'll make changes and additions, refinements, and it's the first Gears of War game to come to PC since original Gears of War, and of course the Ultimate Edition. So I had some decently high hopes for Gears of War 4. And wow, after actually playing Gears of War 4, it blew my expectations out of the damn water. I was just surprised at the quality, at the polish of Gears of War 4, and the amount of content in the game. It almost kind of feels like this Gears of War was made to kind of appeal to me almost, because it almost does everything right that I like. Gorgeous visuals, great enemy variety, satisfying weapons, extreme blood and gore violence, an interesting cast of characters, a cast of characters I found more engaging than the original cast, multiplayer with full full-fledged bot support? Holy crap, yes. A survival horde mode? Hell, even more yes. Oh, and the campaign and horde mode can be played co-op? Oh my god, oh my god, yes, yes, yes. L again, it feels like 
Gears of War 4 was like, hey, th there's this guy named Ryan. He has a YouTube channel called the Gamertron Show. This is what he likes to see in video games. L let's do that for our game. Yeah, I really like Gears of War 4. It does a lot of things right for me. It does a lot of things that I look for in video games. It's also one of the very few video games on the Windows 10 store on PC that actually runs beautifully. The Windows 10 store has already gained a bit of infamy for having, well, issues. Gears of War 4 is surprisingly just of complete AAA quality. It is a AAA video game on the Windows 10 store that works perfectly fine. It works awesome. It's really great to see that Microsoft and the developer, the Coalition, really went out of their way to make sure the PC version was a success. I can't help but appreciate that. So yeah, when it comes to video games that surprised me in 2016, The Division and Gears of War 4. One, a brand new franchise that I had very little interest in until I got my hands on it and actually played it. And the other, a sequel to a long-running franchise that I really wanted to play but kind of disappointed me when I played it, but then I play this game and I absolutely love it. That just goes to show you, never underestimate video games, as this is an industry, this is a media, this is an art form with surprises all around the corner. Every game is different, every game is going to appeal to people in different ways, every video game is going to have something special about it. And I look forward, I hope, to experience many more surprises from the upcoming video games of 2017. Anyways, that's been a video. I hope you liked the video. If you did indeed like the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section below. I love reading comments. To get nearly enough comments, please leave a comment. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, then please consider pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.